It is so wrong that I am looking so happy in this video because it's about how Luki almost died, but I mean it all ends up really well, so let's not be sad, okay? Let's get into the video. So you guys should know by now that I bought Luki at a breeder. She was bred because uh, taking birds of prey from the wild is illegal, as it should be. And when you buy an owl, it's really important that the eyes are still closed. Because the first thing the owlet should see when it opens its eyes is you so that it thinks you are its mother. Uh, it's called imprinting. So me and my mentors went to a breeder and we told him in advance that we wanted a really young owl. About five days or maximum seven days old. But we think our breeder made a mistake and he gave us an owlet that was only three days old. And those two days make a really big difference. The little owl was so fragile and at the moment itself we didn't really realize um, that it was still that young. But after a few days my mentors noticed that the owl was shivering too much. So it was cold all of the time. So my mentors called me up because my owl was staying at my mentor's place for the first two weeks that I had her um, because it was my first owl and I don't think it's um, a very good thing to raise your first owl all by yourself the first two weeks. Um, they are really fragile the first few weeks, so um, if you don't have any experience in raising an owl, then I honestly think that the first few weeks you should give it to a licensed falconer. And I went I went to visit my mentors all of the time because I missed my owl and I was of course super excited um, that I had an owl and it sucked that I couldn't be with it every minute of the day but that's just how it goes, um, yeah, <laughs> tough life. So, so my point being, um, my mentors called me up to tell me, Elke, we're sorry but I think the breeder made a mistake, he gave us an owlet that was way too young. And there is a possibility that it might die. It is shivering like all the time. We should find a way to keep it warm, but um, we don't know how. Blankets just don't seem to do the trick. And I used to have a snake before, so I still had the little heat mat that I always put under the terrarium. And I was like, well, can't we put the heat mat under Lucky's box? Because um, little outlets stay in a, a tiny box in the beginning. And my mentors were like, yeah, that's actually a great idea. So I went to bring them the heat mat and yeah, they put it under the box. And that really helped Luki. She stayed warm, she stopped shivering. But one day my mentors were in their kitchen and Luki was standing in the living room on the table. And the dog is making so much noise, I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> he's singing. He always does this. I think he's growing his teeth and he has a little bit of pain or something. Or he's just an attention whore. Like me. <laughs> just kidding. Um, stay calm and be quiet. Thank you. Come again. Um, I forgot what I was saying. What was I saying? But one day my mentors were in the kitchen and Luki was standing on the table in the living room and little owlets always stay in a small box in the beginning. So sh she was in her box on the table and under the box was the heat mat. And there must have been a short circuit or something and it caused the mat to catch fire. Luckily, my mentors noticed the fire um, in time, so they, they saved Luki. <laughs> but if they wouldn't have been home, I do not want to know how the story would have ended. Luki would have probably died um, and their house would have burned down. Um, so yeah, that's the story of how Luki almost died in a fire. She wasn't wounded. They they didn't need to take her to the vet, it was just a small fire and um, they were there very quickly to take the owl away and put down the fire, so... I mean, it's not that of a spectacular story, but I thought I'd make a video about it anyway. 
And there is a lesson to be learned here, which is always make sure you have a good heating mat because obviously you have to be able to leave it unattended because like when I had my snake, I had a full-time job. So I can't say never leave your heating mat unattended, but I think maybe the heating mat was too old and it was worn, worn down or something. I don't know. Or maybe it was just bad luck. Anyway, when you have an outlet, um, I mean, you can, I mean, you can leave a snake unattended, but when you have an outlet the first month, you have to take vacation from your work because you have to feed it all of the time, take care of it all of the time, make sure it's all right all of the time. So my advice would be if you have an outlet and you have a heating mat under your outlet's box, make sure you plug out the heating mat when you go to the store or something so that it's never unattended with your outlet. Um, that would be my advice. <laughs> so yeah guys, that's it for this video. I just wanted to share this experience with you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys have got any feedback, you can always comment down below and peace out and don't stress too much because that's bad for your heart and you need your heart because Luki is in it. That was completely useless to say in this video, but I'm going to end this now. <laughs> Bye!